Good morning and welcome to this week's Wednesday with Warbus. And it's actually Wednesday today. Yesterday was Monday all day long, and so we forgot to film Wednesday with Warbus. But what I want to do is give you an update on Rivers Elementary. It's going really fast uh, as planned. It's not as fast as we want it to go, but it is going well. Uh, Atlanta Mountie is working really hard with the federal government, making sure that we get all of our paperwork in. And we had a Zoom call, or actually a, a conference call today about some progress on it. Uh, but the architect part of it is going really, really well. CWA, our architect that we've hired, have been working on it. We meet with them every two weeks to update it. Uh, depending on what part of the building we are working with, sometimes we work with uh, the librarian when we're talking about the library. We work with Sabina Garrett, uh, child nutrition, when we're talking about the cafeteria. Uh, we talk with the music teacher when we're talking about the music room. We'll be talking with teachers about classrooms, uh, but through each stage of the way, the people that are gonna be in the building, we want their input. But I'm gonna kinda go over some things that you may have already heard, but uh, also some of the additions that we've done. So this is uh, an aerial shot of, here's where Rivers is currently. This is where the, where the new building's gonna go. Remember there are softball fields here. Uh, the Child Development Center is over here. So this is facing northwest. That's where the building's gonna go. Uh, back here are where the playgrounds will be. Playgrounds will be here. Uh, classrooms, and then of course uh, the gym, which will also be a storm shelter. And then the cafeteria here. There'll be a road back here for their deliveries and for the cooks. And then this isn't necessarily exactly what the parking's gonna look like, but there will be parking and we'll work on the drop-off and pick up lines. So anything I say today is subject to change because we meet every two weeks, but if things go as planned, uh, we're hoping to uh, finish all the plans uh, by this time next year, and then it'll take about two years to build, and then we'll be able to uh, fill it up with new furniture and occupy it. So, here is um, the picture of the building, and of course, it would be facing uh, northwest. This wing is uh, pre-K through one, and this is two through four. On the pre-K end, every two rooms is going to share a single Jack and Jill bathroom, so uh, that way if one child needs to go to the restroom, they won't have to go all the way down to the set of restrooms. Each wing has two sets of restrooms. There's an exit here to go out to this playground, which will be age appropriate for pre-K through one. Uh, we have, it's going to be big enough. The, uh, there'll be more classrooms than we currently have. So we'll have room for growth. And each classroom is 30% larger than the current, uh, uh, excuse me, yeah, the classrooms. The classrooms are 30% larger than the current ones, so that's very, very nice. Uh, the vestibule in the front will have two sets of double doors, one here and one here, so that uh, people can't just get to the classrooms. This area, if you've you noticed, the whole uh, design looks like the Air Force emblem. This looks like a, a tr control tower and then the, the wings are supposed to look like um, a, um, I'm blank. Hanger. Hanger, an airport hanger. Uh, this wing down here is uh, second through fourth. And again, we'll have a playground out back, way to get in and out. And then when you come in the main building, this is where there will be a reception, and here in a little bit, I'll show you that a little bit better. There will be two restrooms for visitors and for adults. Uh, then there will be a, a wall, and this is where there will be, uh, this is going to be a workroom. These will be offices for counselors, nurse, uh, principal. This will be a conference room that's all glass on the back side. This is the library and media center, which is much larger than it currently is all glass in the back where we'll have an outdoor classroom. Uh, very nice. Then over here we have not quite a full-size gymnasium, but it's very close. This will also double as the storm shelter. A STEM lab here. 
This will be the vocal music room, which will be right off the back side of the stage, and then the cafeteria and the kitchen. Here is the kitchen and the cafeteria. Actually, it's a cafetorium. So this is the cafeteria, cafetorium, and we just have some unusual seating, just kind of playing with that to let the teachers decide how they want the seating. Uh, we have the stage here with stairs, and it also has a ramp, and it also, from the back side, this is where the vocal music room will be, and it also has a ramp to get to the stage. Uh, very excited how Sabina has designed the kitchen. Uh, there is storage over here to store the tables if we need to. There's a walk-in, a very large walk-in freezer uh, that's also uh, doubles part of it as a refrigerator. There's dry storage. Uh, there's two serving lines with all the bells and whistles. Uh, then there's a dish washing area, an office, but very state-of-the-art uh, cafeteria. Then, uh, here in a little bit, I'm gonna show you a video, but this kind of shows a cross section of what it will look like. This is the hallway, classrooms on each side. <clears throat> and then the roof is designed, it's one of the airplane wings, and I forgot which airplane it is out there, but it's one of the airplane wings turned upside down. That's gonna be the roof. And then natural lighting will come in underneath. Uh, being on base, we have to get as close as we can, attempt to get as close as we can to net zero. So there's all different things we can do to get to that point. And natural lighting is one of them, so we can get extra points for that. Um, here is the entrance. When you, you'll come in, uh, two double doors buzzed in. There'll be a receptionist sitting here. And around each side is where there'll be restrooms here. And then you can walk around to where there's all the offices and the conference room. Now I'm going to show you just a short video of some renderings. So maybe pause it. So this is one end of the wing. Uh, you can see the natural lighting that will come in under that roof that I told you about that looks like an upside down wing. And then uh, the corridor, we'll show you the corridor. So we can start it back up. So we're gonna walk in the corridor. Of course, these are not the colors that they're gonna be. This is the uh, uh, hallway looking out now. And then we're gonna walk into a classroom. And if you notice, the classroom is gonna be two different levels. So it'll be very interesting uh, for the teachers, it's low on one side, high on the other. So the teachers will have to decide how they're going, to, where they're going to put their smart boards, where they're going to put everything. The natural lighting is above, and this shows it again from a cross section. You can see, part of the classroom's got a lower, and then part of it's got a higher roof, and then the natural lighting, the corridor down the middle, and the classroom on the other side. Uh, pause it. This is, again, as you walk in the two front doors, this is the reception area. And if you'll notice, it's similar, rounded, like the cafeteria, but this, these wood pieces kind of invite you to walk on around. There's restrooms on each side that you can't see. And pause. This is a wall, but it's kind of a smoky glass, so you can see light through the other side. You just can't necessarily see objects. Okay, play. And we'll carry on around the corridor. And that's where the different offices will be. Uh, so very excited. We got a long way to go. We've done a lot of work. Uh, if you haven't been involved in the process and you're out at Rivers, you will get an opportunity to be in the process. Uh, those of you that are helping with kindergarten graduation, we're having our first ever kindergarten graduation. Very excited about that. Uh, just lots of things going on, lots of activities. Just stay tuned uh, and work hard to get to the end of the semester. And as always, may God continue to bless Altus Public Schools.